Yesterday morning we visited Punahu Hula School and we did a little workshop with them and got to learn two hula dances actually. And we learned the first hula which was about um, King Kamehameha IV and it talks kind of about um, how great of a king he was and he was the king who brought hula back to the people. It's very simple movements but it requires a lot of concentration and and looking around at everyone when we were learning, everyone was very focused and they had to constantly tell us like, remember that you're telling a story and that you want to focus on the movements but do it in a way that is effortless and, and welcomes your audience to, to engage in this like beautiful art form. And she was just um, speaking to me a lot about how when we tell stories uh, in, in the Hawaiian style, how it should come from from within and she was describing to me about like how important the emotion was and how everything was to tell the story and so like um, as we were dancing in hula and as, as now as I sing these songs that we're singing here in Hawaii and back at home um, to, to, to just keep in mind the fact that everything that we do is to tell a story and to communicate that, that as a purpose. So what was really powerful to me is how I saw them living out what we try to do in Talisman like sharing stories through song. Um, as through their, the, the hula and through um, the chants and everything that they incorpor incorporate into um, what they do, they try to bring alive their past and their culture. At the, at the hula school they talked about how, you know, when you perform you can be this other person and you can kind of exist in a space that's different than, you know, you walking down the street and I think that's really special and, I, and it, it really says a lot about just the power of of art and the power of hula. So at the end of our workshop we had the opportunity to share some of our music with, with the hula school and we got to sing Aloha Oe, Hawaii Aloha for them, um, which was an amazing experience to see how they received the music that we had been working on to prepare for tour. You know, we're sharing these stories and the stories of hula are passed down generation to generation. You know, we see that in the stories we try to tell in Talisman. There are these stories from the past, but we try our best to tell the stories in the most authentic way that we can. My name is Greg Maples. I'm the director of the Hukilau Marketplace, and I work for the Polynesian Cultural Center. The PCC is the Polynesian Cultural Center. Um, they have a lot of events. The park is kind of split up into seven different islands. Um, in the in Polynesia and so we kind of went and sang at the marketplace outside for a little bit which was super fun and so our number one goal is to perpetuate the uh, cultures of Polynesia and of course that is more than just Hawaii it's all the villages that we have in the Polynesian Cultural Center also it's to provide a place where students and locals can come and work we always talk about intent in Talisman and sharing stories and I think there's something there that says this is something that benefits those people. Aloha, my name is Ikaiko Mendez and I'm a junior at Kamehameha Schools Maui and I'm from Kanao and Pukalani on the island of Maui in Hawaii. Kevelina. So knowing that this is a Hawaiian school, it really connected me to my culture and it was just an eye-opening experience being able to um, sing Hawaiian music in clubs, dance hula, chant, and just be a part of ceremonies that I wouldn't have been able to if I wasn't here. One of the traditions from Hawaii is um, passing down 
things orally, like from our kupuna, our ancestors. They pass it down to us and we um, keep it and we learn it and pass it down to our next generations. spoken word poets that we worked with. Um, so we initially split up into three different groups, each group uh, with different voice parts and talismans so that we had a balance and we could each work with a spoken word artist. My group was with Nohu. I would love if we just spend 10 minutes, 10 minutes, I want you to write an origin story. And I say an origin story because trust. There, we have multiple selves, right? We come from all kinds of places. What language would have been my native language if like Spanish colonization hadn't happened throughout like all of Latin America? Because like for me, it, it feels like a little bit subversive for me to like speak Spanish as a native language like in a country that emphasizes English as like the appropriate standard. You know, my parents' generation, even my generation, learning Hawaiian was like, girl, what you learning Hawaiian for? You're not gonna that whole capitalist, what are you going to use it for? Um, not that as if being whole as a person was useful, right? Especially if your whole self was indigenous. My dad is an immigrant um, from Nigeria to this country. And so I guess in, in his perspective of America, it was seen as this like promised land in this perfect world that he would come to and he would um, somewhat of assimilate into. And so I guess going throughout my life, I've kind of been um, not really exposed to those, that heritage and that cultural roots from his side of uh, my family. You know, everybody thinks that being inspired is just a forward movement, just going forward, but it's also this return to who we, who we were as people, a return to what we've lost. Did I invite you here? Did you ask permission to come here? Are you giving my body what it needs to feel free? Yeah. Wow, that's sick. One thing that I hope you, you'll come to take away from like being with Tal is like I feel like this is one of the places where I do belong, cause like, cause like you don't have to, you know, mm -hmm. and it feels good. So I hope we can provide that. Can I get a too. hug? <laughs> can I get a hug? Yeah. Oh. And I heard you singing, "We Belong." Oh, that was amazing. I'm Joseph Pagato. I am the founder of Tal. I think it's fantastic that Talisman has come to Hawaii. Uh, I've always loved Tongan and Fijian music, and from those I really learned about Hawaiian music. And I think it fits right in with the mission and the type of music that we, we look for throughout the world, and we do our best to, to bring those stories and bring that music authentically to people. So it's just wonderful to see that Talisman is now exploring that further. Uh, again, I think it just fits right in with what we've always done. 
Hawaiian music is really filled with stories. It's very much a, a storytelling culture. Here you say you talk story with people. Uh, and again, stories is what I think Talisman is based on. So, so 30 years later, I'm just, yeah, I truly am amazed that people come in with that same kind of commitment to, to bringing cultural music and, and substantive music uh, and the stories of people around the world to life.